Hello and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Marta. I come from Norway and I love makeup, especially indie makeup and sparkly makeup. And today I'm finally filming with the Mika Beauty Shop Peacock Feathers palette, which you probably saw from the title. And it is such a gorgeous palette. So I will, of course, do some swatches of these gorgeous, gorgeous shadows. And then I'm going to show you how I achieved this look that I'm wearing today by using this palette and in the end I will just sum up my thoughts on the palette because I have had this for quite some time now. I have been using it a lot, especially for everyday uh, looks for work. So yeah, I think I have a pretty good idea about how this palette performs. Uh, I still haven't used a couple of the shades, but I have used a lot of the shades many times. So if you're interested in seeing the swatches, seeing how I got this look, and then hearing a little bit about uh, how this palette performs, then please keep on watching. Just before getting into the video, I just wanted to mention also that I got this sent to me in PR and Mika Beauty Shop is a brand that is based in France, so it's really accessible for everyone who lives in the EU. They do have some pigments, they do have now a few palettes and a couple other products that they just started with pressed shadows, which look amazing, but I haven't tried them yet. Um, and I do actually have a code, which is Marta's Makeup 10. I will leave it on the screen what my code is, but it will at least give you 10%. So it's at least Marta's Makeup, but I think it is also 10 on the end. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm going to show you some close-ups of the palettes just before I start swatching. So you can see just the gorgeous color story, and I think it's a very unique color story. Personally, I haven't seen this before, and I just think it's such a gorgeous palette. So let's do the swatches. are all the swatches of the palette and I love it so much. <laughs> Even though I've had it, this palette for quite some time, I still haven't used especially like the deeper shades here, the shimmers, and they're so intense. I've mostly just used like the, the more neutral shades in this palette, but especially that deep emerald kind of shade is really speaking to me. So I'm going to show you with this flash from the side right here, just so you can see how sparkly it is. Wow, it has so many sparkles in it and it's very smooth. It does not feel wet or anything. So I'm probably not going to have creasing, which is really <laughs> important for me, especially after the Odin's Eye shadow that I just used the last couple of days. If you've seen my previous video, I did just watch them. Um, and I've been trying them out and I will be 
reviewing them later once I've tried them out. But back to this palette. <laughs> There's a beautiful iridescent shade here. We also have that kind of goldish green to a purple uh, shifting shade there. And it's relatively sheer, but this one is so pretty on the eyes. And you can really make it intense with a deeper base. And I just love this periwinkle matte shade and of course the next one the shimmer which is kind of like a turquoise with a pink to green shift it is so pretty it reminds me of uh, Tolly from Glam Shop. I also really enjoy that they added a really really deep green matte because I love deep shades especially when I'm not going to work I like to do some more dramatic looks and these two shades right here definitely give that and the purple just has a lot of different sparkles to it. It's mostly like blue and pink, but it's very, very intense. And then the last three shades, some really nice mattes, and then this beautiful, very intense kind of gold greenish duochrome shade. So that is all of the different shades. And now I'll just go ahead and try to <laughs> find out what I will do for the look in this video. I think I have decided what to do for this look, which you probably already saw in the intro, but I'm going to be using this one in the outer corner, this one more mustardy kind of shade in the inner um, part of the lid, and then I'll be using this shimmer in the outer part, and I probably will use this one and this one also on the lid, but more towards the inner parts. So I'm just going to start out with my 022 brush from Glam Shop using this deepest shade and I have primed my lids and I used my Smashbox eye primer and then I used a little bit of my Glam Shop eye primer just like in the outer parts so that I don't have uh, any discoloration from my skin peeking through where I do the blending but this formula is, uh, because I have used this palette a lot, um, it is very like buildable and yeah, it's blending very easily and I really like working with it. I think I'll also be placing this deepest shade right here. So I'll probably just do the same mattes that I use for the lid also on the lower lash line. Now I'm taking this mustardy shade with a brush from the pink brush set from Oasis Makeup. And I'll just be applying that basically all over this inner part of the lid. I will also just run the brush a little bit across the edges right here just to get a more kind of cohesive look considering the, the green will look a little bit warmer just blending in this mustardy shade. I'm already quite happy with how this is looking. I will do the other eye and maybe do a little bit more um, of the mustard but I'm pretty happy so I'll do that, put on some glitter glue and I'll be back for the shimmers. So as you can see, I have my glam glue on, so I'm just taking the shade Lady Peacock and I'm just going to apply that basically where I have the green matte here in the outer corner. I might just go in with my finger afterwards because I just lately have found that to be a lot easier and faster when it comes to applying shimmer shadows, but oh, this looks so pretty already. It's so sparkly. <laughs> And it's kind of textured while still feeling smooth, which is really an interesting formula. Okay, so now for the big question, which shade do I take? I think I'll just go with the Bird of Paradise color right here. And I have to be a little bit quick because you can see that the glitter, <laughs> the glitter glue is drying. Oh god, I don't know if I was too late now. I don't know if you saw that, but it looked extremely chunky <laughs> because of the glitter glue and that I closed my eyes. I hope that won't affect how it ends up looking. <laughs> okay, so now just to blend them together, I'm taking that green shade on my finger and then I'm just going to be buffing right here just to kind of make the shadows blend more naturally. And I'm trying to keep like a di diagonal line so I don't get too much of the dark shade up here. That is so pretty. Hope that you can see all the shifts. It's probably going to be easier afterwards. 
I'm just going to take a different finger now because this one looks very dark because of the mixed shade. Wow, that is so pretty though. <laughs> um, but I'm just taking another finger just because I want to disperse this shade a little bit above where I put the glitter glue just so it looks a little bit more messy because that's the kind of look I prefer for my shimmers. I don't really do any sharp cut creases right here. <laughs> oh, that is so pretty. I'll just do the same thing on the other eye and I'm definitely going to be going in with this shade, the military green, for the lower lash line where I have, where I don't have anything yet. So um, that's basically it for the eye look. And of course I'm going to use the iridescent shade crowned for the inner corner. So I guess the next thing you'll see is the finished look. <laughs> the finished look that I created with the gorgeous palette and oh, I just I really like these shadows you guys they're so beautiful the mattes they're very pigmented but buildable so they're not like instantly a lot of pigment you do have to build them up but I think that also makes it a little bit more versatile and um, much easier to use if you're a beginner doing makeup I think this formula is very easy to to be working with. As for the shimmers, they're really incredible. They have a very smooth feeling to them without any of these being a little bit wet because I know in the Nebula palette at least one of them were a little bit wet, um, but in this one they're a little bit drier and I feel like I could use these without a glitter glue. I always use my glam glue just to get really really impactful shimmer look but I feel like you could use this one without a glitter glue also, without having creasing and still having quite intense shimmer, which I have done several times when I've been going to work. I've especially been using like this one, Bird of Paradise, Magic Eye, and I've used also Crowned, and I think I actually used this one to work <laughs> one day as well, uh, and it's such a gorgeous shade. I think it might be like my favorite in this palette. Um, yeah, and I, I do love the matte selection. I do love that there's a periwinkle and this mustardy shade. I think those two together are really pretty. And I feel like there's like a lot of things you can do with this palette. So all in all, I'm just really, really happy with this palette. So of course, I've been wanting to show you guys this palette here on YouTube because I feel like it's kind of... I don't know, I don't know if people really know about this palette, which is a shame because it's so beautiful. So here you have it, a gorgeous, gorgeous palette with a very unique color story that can also be used for every day, but also like a little bit more <laughs> dramatic looks like, for example, today. Before I end though, I can also say that I am using my new Kaleidos makeup lip clay in the shade Tundra, and I really, really love this one. I use it just with like a kind of warm beige... Uh, lip liner and I think it's so beautiful and I got of course three others as well so I'm very happy with those and I really recommend them because they're so beautiful and perfect shades for especially fall but a lot of variation. As for the rest of the makeup I will leave everything down below in my description box like I usually do. I am curious though have you heard about Mika Beauty Shop? Have you tried them? What do you think? I would love to hear it down in my comment section. And I think that's it for this video, so thank you so much for watching, and hopefully I will see you in my next video. Bye!